What's up guys? We are back again for another Star Wars video. We've got another entry in the three and three quarter inch five points of articulation line. We've got the new uh, Force Friday release of Luke in Hoth gear with the Wampa. So this is uh, one of the new kind of deluxe packs that they've got for the current solo wave. But what's interesting about this particular piece, and I don't really know the reasoning behind it, is that this is in Last Jedi packaging. So all the other new stuff is coming with the solo branding, with the yellow letters. But this is, uh, you got the Last Jedi stuff with the red letters. So I'm not really sure what's going on there, but it's the same style box that we've seen in this line through and through, nothing too crazy there. We've got Luke in the window. We've got a really nice shot of the Wampa. We've got our Force Link 2 call out. And then the back has just some product shots and kind of the Force Link demo. So let's pull these guys out and take a closer look. All right, guys, so here they are out of the box. And I got to say right off the bat that I am pretty well blown away by this set. It's mostly the Wampa that really does it for me. But Luke is a pretty solid figure as well. The Wampa just kind of elevates things to a different level and makes this whole package something completely different. It's packing a lot of features and a ton of articulation, not to mention the fact that he's absolutely huge. So we're going to talk about Luke first just to get him out of the way, because let's be honest, we all came here to look at this Wampa. All right, so here's Commander Skywalker, and he is, as far as this set goes, the basic half. He is a standard uh, five-point of articulation figure. We've got swiveling arms, we've got a swiveling head, and we've got swiveling legs. So it's, it's standard kind of stuff, uh, but he looks pretty nice. I'm actually really happy with this figure overall, specifically the head sculpt. I think it looks very much like Mark Hamill, very much like Luke Skywalker. You can see that this is uh, the post-Wampa attack because he does have the bloody uh, wounds on his face, so he hasn't yet been in that back to tank but he's got a lot going for him there is a lot of sculpted detail in the quilted areas on the legs and on the chest and on the back of the uh, of the vest that he wears we've got the sculpted belt with paint apps all over it we've got paint apps on those boots we've got paint apps on the uh the chest as well and then of course paint apps all over that hat and the communicator so he's, he's pretty well stocked as far as a uh, five poa figure this is probably one of my more favorite figures of recent history something about this particular version of Luke really does it for me. I'm all about Empire Strikes Back. I love Hoth troopers and things like that. You know, I mean, who doesn't like the Battle of Hoth? It's a, it's a huge moment in Star Wars history. But this particular look I've always been really fond of for Luke in particular. Uh, I always liked his attire more than Han's, for example. Uh, he comes with his blaster pistol. He, of course, has his lightsaber. How could he not have that? So he comes with kind of all the stuff you expect. But there's something about this figure in particular that just kind of looks a little bit better than I had originally anticipated. I think overall this is a very, very solid attempt at a standard, basic 5 POA Luke, and I, I really couldn't be happier with him. I don't really have any gripes. Uh, I don't really have anything I wish he had either. If anything, he could have had more articulation, but ultimately I don't really think he needs it. All right, so here is the Wampa, and let's be honest, this is what we came here to see, and this guy is quite the specimen as far as this line goes. So not only is he enormous, and let me bring Luke in just to show you, you can see just how big he is. The Wampa is right around five-ish inches in height. He's very tall, but he's also really, really thick. There's a lot of plastic going on here. There's a lot of material that goes into this figure, and this box weighs a hefty bit in terms of what you expect a three and three quarter inch two pack to weigh. Most of it's on this guy. Uh, he has a lot of sculpted detail, a lot of paint apps, and I think in general, just from my personal standpoint, I think this is a very, very good interpretation of the Wampa in plastic. So much so that I think I might like this better than the Black Series. Uh, I really like what they did here. It's very very impressive that they were able to pack not only this amount of detail in him, but the articulation. The articulation on this figure is uh, something else in terms of this quote-unquote basic line. This thing really elevates the overall line in terms of what it could be. Um, obviously, it's not super articulated, but it, it kind of skirts a line. There's a lot going on here. Um, so in general, like I said, I think he is a great interpretation in plastic of the Wampa. That mostly comes down to the face. Uh, there's a lot of detail. We got those gray lips, the white jagged teeth. You've got the blood stain on the chin, the dark eyes and horns. I think overall he looks very much like what I think the classic Wampa looks like from the movies. We do have tons of sculpted detail all over the figure. From head to toe, he's covered in the the kind of wavy, wispy fur sculpt. And I mean, obviously that's the look and feel of the figure, so they have to go all out to really make it look like that and it's it's very much different all over the the figure there doesn't seem to be a whole lot of reuse in terms of sections of plastic that have been used from one part to another 
There is a lot of paint on him. There isn't a whole lot on the back side, and I understand why. It's probably a good way to save a few uh, pennies here and there. And I'm perfectly okay with that because we do get a lot of shading uh, on the front of the figure. Kind of a dirty, nasty, old matted hair look. It's on the tops of the hands, it's on the thighs, and some of the knees. And then he's got it on the chest as well. And we of course do have that little uh, stain uh, on the chin that's underneath the blood. So we do have a lot of paint apps going on here. We've, uh, we've got the, the black skin underneath the fur, and it's on the feet as well. So they didn't have to do this, but they did it. It's also sculpted as well. But the big thing for me for this particular figure is the articulation. Like I mentioned, not only does he look good, he packs quite a bit of movement. The head can swivel. It doesn't go too far. It's mostly just a sculpt thing. He's got the kind of mane that goes all the way around the head. It's just gonna, it's gonna prohibit that movement. The right arm, your left, can swivel, and we'll explain why. It has a hinged elbow, which also rotates. So right there, that's, be, that's above and beyond what we normally get for this particular line. Uh, he has a hinged and rotating shoulder on the left arm, your right. We've got a hinged and rotating elbow. We've got a swivel at the thigh, at the, at the crotch. We have rotating and hinged knees, and we have rotating and hinged ankles. So this guy can actually be put into relatively dynamic poses you know, I mean, look at that. You couldn't normally do that with a 5 POA figure because this guy isn't 5 POA. He's, what, 10 POA at least? He's got a lot going for him. It's it's quite, quite nice to get something this size that is able to move so much. And back to this arm, one of the, the things, the gimmicks, I mean, it's a wampa, so he loses an arm. You've got a removable arm on this side, so you've got a little blood ring. You've got the blood on the inside there. Uh, so if you want to display him in a little bit of a battle scene with Luke, you can have him where he's lost an arm and give him that kind of look or or put the arm uh, back in and you can have him ready to, to take Luke down off his tauntaun. So yeah, at the end of the day, I think this set is an absolute winner. There's a lot of people out there that really don't like the 5 POA line. They always manage to end up in my comments in these videos. But I think this is a set that kind of stands apart. Sure, Luke is five points of articulation, but he's a solid figure, and he looks really, really good. The likeness that they were able to sculpt in this was pretty solid. The Wampa, however, is a whole different story. It has tons of articulation for the size, a lot of sculpted detail, a lot of paint. It's got the little play feature with the removable arm. They, of course, have the four link, but I don't have that. I'm not sure it's even working still at this point. Overall, it's just a fantastic uh, Wampa likeness, if that's what you can call it. Uh, and it's just a great set. It's a $20 set, and I think you're really getting your money's worth, especially if you're into the, the basic assortment five quote-unquote 5 POA line. Uh, I think this is definitely one of the better additions in recent history, and Hasbro really knocked it out of the park on this Wampa. So that's going to do it for this look at the Star Wars Luke Skywalker and Wampa 2-pack from Hasbro. Feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and share. Let me know what you guys think. Thanks for watching, and until next time.